C. diff is a bacteria that causes inflammation of the colon, which is called colitis. Toxins produced by C. diff attack the intestinal lining. Those at high risk for C. diff are elderly patients, usually over the age of 65, patients with recent hospitalizations, and patients that have had recent antibiotic therapy. C. diff usually occurs as a three-step process. In the first step, the destruction of normal flora, the current antibiotic may have killed good bacteria along with the bad bacteria. In the second step, the patient will usually ingest the C. diff bacteria. Now this is usually done while they're in the hospital and the spores can be very abundant in the hospital environment. In the third step, the patient will usually develop a C. diff disease. The usual incubation time is approximately seven days. The signs and symptoms of C. diff are abdominal pain and cramping, watery stools up 10 to 15 per day, dehydration, fever, renal failure, and pus or blood in stool. Tests Tests done usually to diagnose C. diff would be stool cultures. Keep in mind that these can take several days to grow. And then a colonoscopy or a sigmoidoscopy. Current treatments include trying to stop the current antibiotic that triggered the illness to begin with if possible. Start a new antibiotic to combat the C. diff bacteria. This is usually flagell or vanco. Surgery may be needed to remove part of the intestine. Probiotics, which help restore healthy organisms such as bacteria and yeast to help restore the healthy balance of the intestine. They may also deter further C. diff infections. C. diff can survive on surfaces for a long period of time. While it is found in feces, people can become infected when they touch contaminated surfaces, such as other people's hands, phones, tables, etc., and then they touch their mouth. Again, once people ingest the C. diff bacteria, the incubation time frame can be up to seven days. One of the best ways to prevent C. diff is to always, always, always wash your hands. It is important to always use the proper contact precautions as set out by your facilities policies and procedures and you always want to clean equipment in the room with chlorine bleach products. Bleach is actually what kills the spores. So this is Nurse Anna and I hope you really enjoyed our very first animation on C. diff. It was a little bit more work than I thought it would be, but please hit subscribe if you would like to see more. Leave a comment. Thanks again guys. Have a great week. Thank mm -hmm. you.